video seen around the country during the 2016 election, and it happened right here in North Carolina. One year ago today, in fact, 79-year-old John McGraw, a Trump supporter, was caught on camera sucker punching Rakeem Jones, a protester at a Trump rally in Fayetteville. As I said, the video, it went all over the place, and McGraw was charged with assault and battery and put on probation. Now, during his court appearance, McGraw apologized for his actions, and then what you just saw there, he and Jones, they hugged in the courtroom. Now, today, both men met for lunch, and it was a very different scene from a year ago. CBS North Carolina's Nate Rogers sat down with them and brings us this exclusive report. Dear God, we thank you for the food we're about to receive. We thank you for our relationship that we've gained here. Prayer, laughter, and an open ear to listen. That was the tone of today's man-to-man -man meeting. Rakeem Jones says it's the type of meeting that would heal any wound. I would see, you know, the pictures and all this. I'm like, I wonder how he doing, you know, just as a person. John McGraw and Rakeem Jones say last year's fiasco trapped them in a political sensational mess. McGraw apologized and the two reconciled before appearing in court. But even after this hug, both men say they're continually met with racial jabs while in public. Are you a racist? No. Not at all? No. Are you a racist? Hell no. He knows I'm not, and I know he's not. Then to me, that's all I care about. Today's lunch was a no holds bar conversation. Both men opened up about life goals, work, and family values. There was no need to revisit the past. And it happened. It happened. And he and I worked it out. And I think that's between me and him. Despite their political affiliations, both men now agree the country is in a scary place. They talked about the importance of unity and respect, something they hope this conversation will advance. How do we come about healing in terms of, you know, our communities, the world, just from both of you all's experience? Like I said, get to know the other side here, just figure out what's going on with the other side. Mm -hmm. What about for you? The churches has got to do a big part of it. Mm -hmm. I wish that I wish that somehow Jones and I could go to white churches and black churches mm -hmm. and talk to them. I wish there was some way that we could do that. In Fayetteville, I'm Nate Rogers, CBS North Carolina. Oh, what a great story. Well, the Republicans